My name's Malin and I've been playing football for about a bit over 10 years now and recently, so last year, I went out and kind of took a step towards playing semi-professional but then I realised that that really wasn't what I wanted and it kind of created this, I don't know, anxiety and I kind of burnt myself out because I was too... Um, obsessed on performing better and put so much pressure on myself to do well that I kind of lost the love that I had for the game. So I've kind of, I had to take a step away from it for a couple months, but then recently I decided there were things that I loved about football and the things that I loved about that were going out and playing with friends. Um, parts of the competition were good, but if I got too hell-bent on it, then it became exhausting. So I decided that I'd just start practicing my skills and I decided a bit over a week ago, I think it's nine or 10 days now that I would learn the sombrero and only just today I got it. And it's a really satisfying feeling and I kind of wanted to share that with people and kind of show that this side of sport that you can love, that doesn't have to be connected to politics, that doesn't have to be connected to winning or doing better it's kind of like this development that you go through with yourself and I think that's very important and competition isn't also an important part of it but I find a lot of joy in just developing the skills and becoming great at it so here's kind of how I learned the sombrero in nine or ten days however long it was um, and I hope you enjoy it Day one, let's go. So here I'm just kind of practicing the snapback kind of motion. And <laughs> I got it a couple times. You know, kind of I found it kind of easier to do. You know, that motion was kind of felt natural, you know, kicking out. It was just the kind of moving it together, you know, from this, from the flick. That was like my first attempt. <laughs> Yeah, and then I'm just practicing flicking it up, trying to get a bit of air on it so then I have enough space to kind of flick it. And if you're going to start from the start to learn the sombrero, I probably wouldn't recommend this. Like, yeah. Oh, you'll see in a second that I grabbed a cone. Yeah, there we go. And I kind of sat it on there so it was elevated a lot easier to flick it up. And look, see, already better. And now I just have the problem that I'm flicking it straight up or straight ahead. And in, on reflection, that's kind of because I wasn't kicking far enough and I wasn't flicking it high enough. It was just yes. about the end of day one. I thought I got kind of close. I think I actually got it. Oh, yes. Yeah, that was... Oh yeah. That's a real good one. Oh yes. I'm stoked with that. And then day two. I just kind of went and did a similar thing. You know, started with the cone this time. First attempt almost got it already. Oh. I just have the problem of keeping it straight up. I felt I needed to get a bit more of the flow of the kick because I wasn't quite getting that. I felt okay with the flick, but just getting it over my head. I wanted to practice. You know, doing this didn't feel easy all the time. You know, so I felt resistance. I was like, oh god, I got to do more um, sombrero practice. You know, I want to get this, and then you could do it, and you kind of get frustrated, and then like it's like, oh, it's not coming off. But that's kind of like a part of the process and once you get it, it makes it so much more sweet. And I mean, this was only, what was it, nine days it took me to learn this and I was only doing maybe at least three minutes to up to like seven minutes practice and I could get it on the ground at the end, which we'll see. But yeah, we'll just go through this. This is still day two. Just practicing with flick motions too. Oh, 
Oh, that was an okay one. It was straight up in the air. Oh, surprised myself. Yes. And that's another good one that I got on day two. Now we're on to day three. I don't think I did as much practice. It was a lot hotter day and my phone kind of overheated so I didn't get all of it. But I think I felt a bit frustrated on this day. I was also doing it in a shorter kind of area so there wasn't so much room. But I was getting a lot more consistent, you know, I was getting it up. Oh, that was an okay one. Day four, I think I was a bit distracted this day. <laughs> First attempt goes out there. Yeah. <laughs> that was an alright one. Yeah, so this could be applied to like any skill that you want to learn. Oh, that was a good one. Um, you just kind of practice it and practice it and your body will kind of get used to the motion. You'll kind of figure out little tricks and things along the way. And I think that's more important than kind of having someone tell you how to do it because then you you figure it out for yourself and you kind of find out the little tendencies and your little ways of doing it. Oh, almost took out the camera then. This one was kind of a bad view, but the next days that I had it set it up a bit higher so it's a better view. And now I just have the problem of kicking it up every time. Oh, another good one. Yeah, see, better view, day five, let's go. First attempt, it's all right. <laughs> I kept kicking it up, oh my God. You need to kind of hook your leg around to like, and get it underneath, kind of at a diagonal to get it over your head. <laughs> Can't balance it. <laughs> oh, that was getting a bit better, like my movement's a little bit better. You know, that it's like you can see the two separate movements, the flick and then the kick. Yeah, that's getting a lot better. It's nice to kind of reflect and like see how you're doing it because when you're kind of doing it, you don't really realize what you're doing wrong or anything like that. And you don't see the progress as well. Ooh. <laughs> Straight up. First try. And you can see, even though I was getting better over it with each day, I was still kind of making the same mistake, you know, kicking it up. Although I could get it every now and again, but I think it's just a matter of practice makes perfect or practice makes progress. Ooh, another nice one. Day seven. One week. <laughs> I look excited that day. Let's see. <laughs> I was so excited I just kicked it straight up into the tree. <laughs> oh. Ooh. You can see I'm getting it a lot more consistently over my head in these ones, like that. Oh. Yeah, so oh, I surprised myself there. Day eight, yeah. <laughs> you can hear the galahs in the background. They were causing a havoc. Yeah. It's just like the finesse, you know, I was kind of had the movements down, I was just getting it in the right spot where I wanted it to. Hmm. I think it's really nice to kind of develop and practice a skill. <laughs> Can't get it to balance. And like kind of have mastery over it, you know, because it's something difficult that's difficult to do, but it can be really rewarding. I've kind of been saying that. <laughs> the glass, like attacked me already. Yep, back to sombrero practice. Yep, that was alright. <laughs> yeah, nice. Day nine, final day. This was today as well. Can't believe it only took nine days. It's kind of crazy to think 
you know, it felt like it took a lot of time, but we're kind of still making some of the same mistakes, but yeah, it's crazy to think that you can learn something in such a short time. It kind of makes you think, well, here I just decided I'd do it on the floor randomly. You know, but it's crazy to think that you can actually achieve these things. You know, it doesn't take that long. Oh. And like, oh, that's my first one. Got it. Got it. Look how happy. Oh, so close. That's close. But yeah, how you can yes. achieve these things in short, such a short period of time. Oh, there it is again. And I just randomly decided to do it, start doing it on the floor. It's like, all right, I've got to try this. Yeah. Anyway, this was kind of like a rewarding experience and rewarding kind of nine days. And it'll be interesting to kind of see what else, what other skills I can develop and improve, you know, in months or in, over the year or something. And then I just have them in slow mo. Nice. <laughs> so that was me learning Sabero in nine days. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.